All right, let's take a look at the BX Rock Rack from Brainworks and Plugin Alliance. Now this video is going to focus more on the features, not necessarily the sound. So let's go ahead and look at all of the features here. We'll have sounds in different videos. So BX Rock Rack is a collection of eight awesomely uh, physically modeled amps in a way that only Brainworks can do it. So we can go from you know, crystal clear cleans to, of course, a raging, you know, raging metal and rock. I have a nine string guitar strapped on me right now. Nice and clean, right? Again, I'm not going to go through every single thing here, but of course you have your basic parameters. And some of these are different depending on the amp that you choose. And we can use our plus button to go to the next. That's a great one there. Our angle tube preamp 530. And this one has, of course, a bright switch on it. A little brighter. And gain, lower high, so much lower gain there. Of course, adjust things to whatever you prefer. Let me head in here real quick. Let's turn that delay on. Sounds really cool. Listen to that. Great sound with that. On to the clean jazz. Another great amp here. Great. Bright switch on this one. Of course, your gain, volume, bass, treble, mid presence, all that. On to some crunch. Switch that pickup. Let me turn this off here. Very good. Of course, keep in mind the you know, cabinet and the uh, microphone are going to make a huge difference uh, to our sound, but we'll get to that in a minute. Just want to go through these amps real quick, just so you know what's included. All right, next one. You have your crunch jazz. So much more crunchy uh, than our clean. Switch on this one. All right. Then our lead angle 530 with that same higher low gain uh, switch there. Oh, that sounds great. We can contour this too. We're just going to change the way the mids work here. Hear that? It's not just the volume boost, I can always compensate for that. Contour, turn the volume down. Right. We have a nice low mid and high mid. I always like that whenever we can adjust low mids and high mids separately. Always great. Treble presence, volume gain, whatnot. And the metal BX666. Now this is a custom. Made by Brain Works there, all your basic controls. You have this shape knob, which is pretty cool. I actually probably set this up a little bit different, but this is not really f about the sounds necessarily. It's more about uh, the features. And shape this. And the Modern Rock. This is based on a, a Mesa Boogie. That's the eighth string, ninth. So of course I would adjust that. All right, so that is, uh, that's the eight amps that are included. We'll go back to the angle there. Awesome. Now we'll stay on the front page here for now. Of course we can bypass this here, bypass it right down. Here as well, and also on all, all of these parameters, we can use our mouse scroll wheel to adjust parameters, which is nice. Right on the front, an EQ that you can turn on or off, and you can reset that. You can always set it up uh, for one amp and always switch amps, and it will stay there. You know, if I want to switch between these two, I can still have my uh, you know EQ 
setting retained. Great to have that extra control right here uh, within the plugin. Across the top, we have an undo and then redo button. So whenever we make changes, whether in here or in the effects rack, we can also just click there to go to the effects rack. Whatever changes you make, you can undo those or redo those. Just keep undoing or redoing. Several steps. We have A, B, C, and D, and this corresponds, of course, to your presets and the, and the way you, you set things up. So if I had to set something up here and say I really like that, great. I can have that as my A. I could use copy here. I could go to B. I could paste that in there. And then I can make an alteration, maybe here in the effects rack, maybe have the delay on in this case. And then I can always switch back and forth between those really, really quickly. Same thing for C, I could paste that in there, or whatever you want. So that's how that works in setting up your presets. Of course, we can always reset things there. And speaking of presets, we have a bunch of presets included and where they're located will look differently uh, depending on if you have this loaded as a VST or AX, you know, for Pro Tools or AU. For Pro Tools are right up here underneath preset right here. Bunch of different presets that you can choose from uh, real quickly and a, B, C, and D. There's actually four different presets per uh, per preset or four different snapshots. So if we go to the effects rack, go to B, you can see it's slightly different. C is slightly different. D is slightly different. So this is a great way to set up a bunch of presets that sort of belong together, you know, for a set or something. You can just have them all contained under one uh, master preset. So be sure to go through all of those, the A, B, C, and D, because they'll all sound a bit different. All right, so that's the presets, that's the front panel, then you have an about button there if you wanna click that. So let's head on back now to the effects rack. All right, so in the effects rack, actually, let me change this amp here to the 530, one of my favorites, great amp here. Make sure we got a good sound here. Not bad, I'm gonna change this here. And we'll turn down the volume a bit and turn that down. Awesome. So you have a gate included, a noise gate. Switch that on or off. If I have it off, you can hear that sound in the background. You know, if I'm barely touching my strings or ringing out, it's going to keep ringing out. So we can, of course, turn that on, adjust our threshold. There we go. At that point, the gate will close down and keep, you know, those annoying sounds from coming through. Then you have a range control, which is going to determine how much that sound is dimmed. So if I have a really low, but a higher threshold, you can see it's on, it just dimmed it a little bit there. So I raise that up, the range, it cuts it off even more. So if I raise the threshold way up to really cut it off, you can still hear it, but turn the range up, and that really cuts it off. So if you want to be really genty with it, really, uh, you know, palm muty with it. You can raise up your threshold and your range. But it's great to have that range control because sometimes maybe you don't want it to clamp down super hard. On from there, we have a delay, which is, this is one of the best delays I've heard. And it's included, you know, within BX Rock Rack here and within uh, the other, uh, the other uh, Brainworks amps as well. It's a great, great delay. You can tap if you have a certain time uh, in mind, of course, you can adjust. You can always, you know, type things in. You can multiply that by two and just keep clicking it. Of course, it can only go so far. Or divide it by two, which is a, you know, quick and easy way to uh, get your exact, you know, your exact time if you want things, you know, twice as fast or or twice as slow or whatever uh, from your BPM. Of course, this here is going to be the host BPM, which is 120. We can have that linked there. We can also click here, say quarter of that, eighth of that. So a lot of options to uh, set up your delay just right. Put this back down to around 400. Of course, your mix, your feedback, and your lo-fi. Lo-fi will just sort of distort it a little bit, the inter-sample uh, inter distortion. And of course, feedback, how much is it gonna feedback in there? And your mix, of course, you wouldn't want that much. Just a bit is usually good. That's way too much feedback. Lo-fi it up a bit. You can get a great, you know, great, great sound uh, with this delay. Listen to that.
that's perfect. I mean, that's perfect, and it's built right in. Absolutely love just loading this up and then just playing and not having to you know, grab a bunch of different effects. It's just right within here. Turn that off. Moving on, we have our tight filter, our smooth filter, and our shred. Start here with tight, so tight and smooth. Let me turn this up a little bit. Tight and smooth are basically the same thing, basically the same thing as your high pass and your low pass filters. Just a visual representation there. So this would be the tight controlling the low end and then the top in there, the smooth, smoothing that out, you know, for those harsh frequencies uh, that you can sometimes get. So a real good example of this, uh, you know, we have off, we have pre and we have post. So off, of course, is off. Pre is going to be the sound coming from your guitar before it goes through your amp. Okay. So if your uh, pickups are maybe rumbly or too much bass, too much low end, you can tighten them first, which is something that you might do with like a green screamer plugin or a green screamer, uh, you know, pedal. Uh, put that in front, very low distortion, and then just, you know, turn that up just a bit. And that will actually smooth out or tighten up that, uh, that low end. Uh, that's something that's done all the time in, in metal. So that's what pre will do, of course, without the distortion. And post is, of course, post, uh, post amp. Uh, I like pre most of the time for tight, and I like post uh, for smooth. But on the tight with the nine string guitar here, it's on off right now for a tight filter. And I'll just. Right? Now, if I put this on pre, that's going to tighten up uh, that low end for us. much better for you don't want it to be you know you don't want it to be too boomy now if we go to post of course that's going to come after the amp so it's going to sound different okay and to really hear that i'll just jack it way up now you can use it for an effect as well Now, if I put this on pre, it's going to sound different. Post is go is pulling out that low end after the amp, while it pre is pulling out the low end from the guitar before it hits the before it hits the amp. And pre, and somewhere around there. And smooth is going to do the opposite, and that is going to affect the top end. So right now it's on post, pull it way down. If I turn that off. Back on post. That's obviously way too aggressive, but you could put it on pre if maybe your pickups are, you know, too too shimmery, too, you know, too harsh, you can smooth that out. Great feature to have in there. For smooth, I like it to be on post, and I don't want it too much because I don't want to pull out, you know, too much aggression, too much attack. So something like that should work pretty well. There we go. Then we have our shred filter. Now this is an interesting filter, and that's going to thicken up and fatten up your sound. May not be really good for metal, because you're going to lose some of that aggression on the top end if I put it way up here. Hear how much thicker that is, how much fatter? It's rolling off top end, pulling in low end, some of those mids, if I turn it all the way down. And if you want to see what this does, actually, I can pull up inside here. We'll open up our spectrum analyzer, put this over here, and we'll put shred all the way up. We'll turn it off. So it's off right now. Move this over to the side a bit so you can actually see. Now when I turn it on, look what happens to the top end there and the low end. This would probably work well for leads. Right, 
probably fatten those up really quick there, but you can play around with that shred control. Pretty cool control uh, to have in there. I like it on a little bit, but not uh, not too not too much. So great control to have. Then of course you have your master output, which of course is different from your volume. You have your volume up high. Turn your master up down for you know a little bit of a different sound. Just use my scroll wheel to turn that down again. Awesome. Of course, we already mentioned the EQ. You can change that around however you want to shape your sound further. And the low end, you know, adding a low end on the graphic EQ is going to be different than the low end you might add on the amp because, of course, the amp has the tone stacks and whatnot. So you might want to pull some low end out on uh, on the amp and then pull some in on your graphic EQ. You can get a nice full guitar tone that way without too much of that flubbiness. Pull out some of those mids maybe. Way too much out in my opinion. Pull down the top, pull down there, pull that down, pull that down. A little more bass here. A little less low mids, a little less, more treble, more presence, more gain. Contour it. Pretty good sound overall, but that takes us to the recording chains. You'll notice that there's no there's no cabinet, there's no microphone that you're choosing. Instead, what we're choosing is the full recording chain. So right now we have an American cabinet 4x12, uh, 563 plus the dynamic 57 microphone. So some of these have EQs included with them, full entire recording chains, and that's why these Brainworks amps sound so realistic because it's not just, you know, some randomly sampled, uh, you know, cabinet or, uh, or, or microphone or EQ. It's, this is the entire chain. So everything sounds extremely realistic and you have a bunch to choose from here. 41, if you want no cabinet, just choose uh, no recording chain there. You can use, uh, use your own cabinet with that, which is going to sound horrible right now because uh, we're using the uh, amp and cabinet but a bunch to choose from. Tons. Of course, you can use your plus and minus buttons to cycle through those. Diesel. With a ribbon. But that can get a bit cumbersome, you know, trying to go through each and every one of these. So what Brainworks did was they put in this auto button and we can choose how long it takes to switch, of course, based on our, our BPM. So one bar, two bars, all the way up to eight bars. So if we just have this on one bar, I hit auto, this is going to automatically cycle through our recording chains and I can just play along. And if I like that one, just hit the auto button, it will stop. You might have to go back or forward one to get the one that you like, but that's how you can do that. Of course, this also comes in very, very, very handy if you're playing back, for example. Hit auto there, and you can play along. So I kind of like this one back here. Let me stop the auto. Like this orange back here, right there. Awesome. So that's a real quick and easy way that you can, you know, go through all of your different recording chains. Okay, so I believe that's everything you need to know about the features that are included in BX Rock Rack. And by the way, I've had the Stereo Maker on the full time. I love this plugin. It makes uh, you know, it makes your guitar sound uh, like it's a double tracked guitar. It's on bypass right now. Great for whenever you're just playing around. You get that double tracked sound without actually having to, uh, you know, double track while you're playing. Love it. But if I turn it off, still sounds great. 
So they did a very, very good job with BX Rock Rack Brainworks. All of the Brainworks amps are you know, supremely sampled and have uh, good features in them here, as, uh, you know, as you can see there. So that is everything in the BX Rock Rack. Again, eight different amps to choose from, from, again, sparkling cleans to raging heavy metal and uh, plenty of options in here. Your EQ your gate, which is, it's a supreme gate, your delay, which amazing delay, your tight and your smooth filters, and then you have that shred filter in, in the uh, rock rack here, master out, and of course the recording chains, which again is why, you know, why the uh, Brainworks amps sound so realistic. So you can always go check out the BX rock rack at Plugin Alliance.